is Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. I'm back with another layout process video for you today. And today, this layout's all green. Um, it's for a challenge I'm doing over on Inspired by Memories. Um, and uh, the challenge is to produce a layout for each colour of the rainbow, and then also to produce a rainbow one as well. So this is my green entry. Um, what I'm using today is the grid layout. Um, and I've cut a piece in the middle there that measures three by six, and then the two photos and the other two squares both measure three by three, so that creates the grid. But when I placed it on the page, I felt like it was a little bit plain, so I decided to then mat the um, pieces I've cut with another piece of green, um, especially that white one to make that one pop off the white cardstock at the back. So I've chosen that heart paper, um, as the top and bottom and I've chosen that sort of uh, diamondy patterned paper for the middle one. There's also dotting paper, there's some various other bits of green that I found in my stash. Um, and so I'm matting the photographs and all the pieces on all the bits of green. I'm not sure if I do it two or three times. Um, I think I might have, I think I might mat two each one two times. Um, so I'm just making sure they're well stuck with double sided sticky. I have trimmed down the piece of white cardstock um, just by half an inch so that I can have a quarter inch at the top and bottom of that green spotty paper just to really bring, bring the whole um, page together and give some sort of border. When I'm matting this photograph on this paper that you see me doing now, um, I'm not using the very edge of the paper because it's quite distressed and I need to be able to see that green. So um, I decided that I would um, mat it sort of in the middle to get, be able to get rid of that white section. Um, you see me there playing with two different trimmers. I have a mini guillotine, I have a larger guillotine as well, um, but that's over at the other side of the room. And I have that little Fiskars uh, shortcut trimmer. Um, I have to say, I've bought the new blades, not awfully happy. Um, it kind of leaves a raggy edge, so I don't use it unless I have to. Um, I then decide to mat this middle one here on the heart paper. I've positioned it really carefully so that you don't end up with just a white edge. You get some of the hearts on, on each edge, some of those, and they look like dots, I suppose, but you can see bits of colour popping around. So that's the overall effect of what I'm going for. Um, I'm now matting these ones again. I just felt it needed a bit more sort of layering. And again, using plenty of double-sided sticky so that it doesn't come off. The last thing you want is to open your scrapbook album and find that all your pieces of paper have, have, have fallen off. Um, now, my intention with this layout was to leave the background very, very white. Um, you will see in a short while that I do not achieve that. Um, and I can't leave it. It seems too plain to me, so I do something about that in a minute. Uh, what I'm doing now is just using the grid on my cut mat there to help me line up the edges of these strips so that I just get half an inch showing at the top and bottom so that the page doesn't end up any bigger than 12 by 12. And then on go my pieces now that they are all ready um, to be placed on. I'm going to start pulling out some of these stickers. These are from Vicky Booting. These are like, they're like glossy um, word stickers and I play with the arrangement of this for a little while. Um, I try putting acrylics on, I try putting more words on, I put a heart on there and to start with I think the black's going to work and I find a couple of little green hearts there and I, and I stick the love you down um, but then I'm, I'm still not sure about it so I move on. What I'm doing now is using some washi tape um, and I'm just putting a couple of little banners of washi tape across uh, that middle section just to break that up a little bit. So I've got, um, they're both stripey I think, you'll see them on the close-ups later. And then I've got some brads. Now I don't use brads very much, I don't think anyone uses brads very much anymore, um, but while I was having a, a trawl through my stash I found these green ones and I thought actually they look lovely. So like I said I wasn't very happy with the pure white background so I decided to do some green splatters and some green bits of packaging technique, uh, just using it to kiss the paper as it's called. So 
bit of watercolour, bit of water on a bit of plastic and just kiss it to the page and kind of smoosh it around a bit and then I do some more splatters and then when I go to put these back on I am much much happier with how this with how this all looks and it, it just feels slightly less um grid it still feels like a grid but it's softer the background is much softer um so here go my squares at the top just trying to line them up and then I'm going to put my squares at the bottom I do them both at the same time just to make sure I get them in exactly the right place um, and then I decide that those black words were just too black and I take them off um, and instead I go for some of these MME cardstock stickers they're actually glittery again you'll see it in the close-ups that are coming up very very soon and I think they finish it off beautifully so all that's left to say is thank you for watching hope you have a lovely crafty day and uh, keep watching for some lovely close-ups of the finished layout. Bye!